Training was there, the programs there. Be fun to watch as the season progresses for them. I expect good things. Making a comeback after missing all of last season, April 2015, Haven literally blew up her knee. 2015 U.S. silver medalist Haven Denny, Brandon Frazier. They skate to John Barry's somewhere in time. triple twist. Bro, triple. <laughs> Just easily executed. Look at the flow of the edge as she leaves the air. Out, double toe. They're definitely going to take a look at her take off of the toe to make sure she didn't pre rotate. Completely off the ice for six months. When she returned last October, she had four months of severely limited training time, working the knee back in. See the brace on her knee. Side by side, double axles. Hers is only a single, so they will only get credit for the single axle. Triple sow. Beautifully landed. What a beautiful face and the way she uses it to connect with Brandon and with the audience. After the mishap, they decided to change training locales. They now train in Chicago with Rockney Brubaker, who was a two-time U.S. champion, and his wife, a three-time Italian pairs champion, Stefania Burt. Lots of speed, Ryan, here at the end of the program. We've seen a lot of teams fall apart. Not these two.
Haven Denny, Brandon Fraser, welcome back. And you had to think the question mark would be that right knee when she's coming out of the air on the throws, and she looked so confident, so secure. The jumps didn't go her way, but those throws were something special. And 2015 U.S. silver medalist Haven Denny, Brandon Fraser waiting for their marks. We take a look at this opening jumping combination. If you take a look at her left foot when she taps for the double toe, it has completely turned forward by the time she taps. In skating, we call that a toe axle, which is a very taboo jumping element. So they gave her the downgrade on that element. Well, here's a look at the scores, and you can see everybody nodding in agreement. They'll take that. It puts them in second place, but hey, the good news, only one team still to skate.